right word. All right. Okay. So this article is basically about how if you swear, you are more honest as a person than if you don't swear. Thoughts, please. I only know bullshit. <laughs> that's that, that's fucking unbelievable. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is this whole article just going to be beep? Yep. Beep. Yep. Beep, beep. I fucking think so. Oh my goodness. Get the fuck out of here. You know what? I got to I got to say with the with the tradesmen I work with. Yes. Right? They're pretty like if they don't like you, they're pretty upfront and there's a lot of F bombs and C words and what like, towards you? Like they aim it at you if they don't like. They're like you are. If this. you're if you're making them angry or if there's been a um uh, an incident and they're mm-hmm. like F off. Yeah, yeah, it's like they get it off their chest and the next day is a brand new day. Wow. No harboring any ill ill will, but I noticed. I don't know if this is true, but in the office there's a lot more politics. And um, it's sort of like you don't know where you stand sometimes. Oh, like in an office environment just based on... Yeah. Right. Yeah, like in office... It, okay, because I can't imagine going to a job, like say with like what you do, like as a tradie, and then having to be prepared for battle. <laughs> what? What battle? <laughs> verbal. Like verbal battling. Like just... You are this, you are quick this, wit. you are this. You mean quick wit? Whatever, I'm not sure. Like with the swearing, whatever you say, you just said they, they drop the C-bombs, they drop whatever. I can't imagine They're pretty that. honest. I'm just saying they're honest in the way that they feel about people. So you never think, oh, what, you know your place, basically. Yeah, you know where you stand. I'd rather know where I stand than uh, guess. See, for a guy that's worked in both fields, I can actually, yeah, in the office environment, it's a lot more... Political. Political, definitely. And you kind of always have to be on the edge because you're not sure. Walking you're on eggshells yeah. all the time? Yeah. Well, back in the construction, well, you can tell someone to F off. Imagine, if imagine. If he doesn't like it, he can tell you to F imagine off. Imagine you can do that in like in the office. You go, you, oh. you're pissing me off, mate. You, you're pissing, piss mate, off mate, for a bit. Take a step back and won't headbutt you. Yeah. <laughs> and you go, tomorrow's a new what? day. <laughs> oh my God. Tomorrow's a new day. We'll come back tomorrow. But if you piss me off again, piss off again. Yeah, you don't. Why really do you have to link? Why is why is swearing always linked so much with to violence? A, a, a violence. I, like, that, I no, no. I guess agree it's just with in, you, my, Maxie. in my in my like, environment. It always <laughs> leads to a violent. Like it always goes swearing, swearing, swearing. Oh yeah, let's take it outside type thing. Like why? Because there's emotion connected to those words, yeah. isn't there? There's a lot of emotion connected to. So those. the people that don't swear don't have emotions with what no, they say. No, no, they're, they're robots. They're holding it within. See, and this is what because think? I don't, I don't swear. Well, well, we'll talk to Matt. Like, what do you think? I guess, I guess the because the the people that don't swear, they probably can. They're better at articulating their thoughts and emotions, so they don't need to swear. Whereas if you swear, it's like there's it's more primal. Well, there's more emotions hooked into those words, right? Like the F word means so many emotions. Like yeah. it just doesn't mean one emotion. Yeah, you it's like be happy. If you can say fa, "f off," it means like eight different things. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I met this girl last night. F off. <laughs> 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 she was hot. F off. You have the F out of you. You know. And, and then there's I like, want to get to know her. F off. <laughs> and, and, and then there's like F off. <laughs> there, there, there's a lot of emotion. Back the F off. Yeah. There's a lot of. <laughs> Different emotions can connected to one word. Yeah, Dep- depends on how it's delivered. But you're right, Maxi. You're right. There is a lot of. Uh, it goes from talking zero to hundred real quick. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. But I wonder. I wonder with this study because it says the study they did it was uh, there's only two hundred and seventy six people, which is a pretty bad study. Yeah, uh, the one we're looking at here. Yeah, I often hear people that are swearing more honest, but. How do you measure how honest somebody is anyway? Like, mm. on on a, if you put on a survey, are you honest? The people that gonna... say yes are mostly liars. Are probably <laughs> the dishonest people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm honest. And the people that say no, uh, are they also the dishonest people? <laughs> I feel like the people that say no are probably no, no, no. more likely to be honest. The people that say honest. no are most likely the more honest people. Because no yeah. one's ever truly honest. I think this study's okay, Maxie, because it says uh, studied 276 people in a lab and um, 73,000. In, in a lab? 
Yeah, in a lab, and then this, and it also studied the social interactions of almost seventy four thousand people on Facebook. Ah, oh. as well. Okay. So I guess what people were posting and the profanity usage, etc. I'm not sure. All right, here's a question: Would you rather know where you stand in a in a in a workplace environment or a social environment, or would you rather play the mind games? I don't like mind games, um, and I'd prefer to know where I'd stand. But does that mean that it has to be like involve swearing and no, stuff? No, it just has to be. It's it's going to include confrontation. Yeah. I don't say I don't like confrontation. Like, see, would you prefer someone to go? I don't like you at all. I think you're a terrible person. I don't want to know you. Oh, I'd be so. I'm sad. not having lunch with you yeah. because I just don't oh, like you. You suck. You yeah. I'd suck. call you crying, saying they don't want to have lunch with me. So you don't want to be honest. Yeah, you'd so rather you not have, be honest. Have a, I don't want to know. Don't yeah. tell me if you hate me. It will just make me upset. I think there's 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 a there's a balance. I don't think. Uh, like when people say I wasn't being rude, I was being honest. They're not mutually exclusive events. You can be rude and honest at the same time. The way but saying often it, yeah. you don't. You don't need to be rude. Like yeah, for me, you don't. Re- There's some things that uh, you can be left unsaid, and it doesn't necessarily like it, a lot of things people say that are just tend to be confrontational people. Yeah, where it doesn't add value to anything. Right. So there's ego. no point in them saying it. Yeah. And also, but then oh, I mean, it doesn't help the situation. You're saying it just doesn't help the situation. Yeah, like so, if someone says you're a terrible person, I don't want to eat lunch with you. But you didn't have to say you're a terrible, you're a terrible per- person first. You just say I don't want to have me? lunch with you. Like you can say I re- I remember really clearly actually when I was in like my college. So I was about 17 years old, and there was a girl that was very sort of loud. Bub- cool, you can call her bubbly, but she's like she's very sort of self centered as well. So she's always you know like talk about herself and she wants to take she wants to take control of every situation and a guy said to her like you're like a great person and everything but i'm just i'm just not on your level like i can't keep up with you like we can't you know i'm gonna eat lunch over here <laughs> and then she took it as like a compliment because she was so much like better than him oh. almost that's like how she took it <laughs> so what are you saying she was like oh he, she will shut he up. can't keep up with me <laughs> yeah she was like she was like oh he can't keep up with me but i'm gonna carry on doing my thing she, he was like look you do you i'm happy you do you but it's just it, conflict with who i am so i'm gonna be like over here you know i'm I'm moving and i was just like i don't know it wasn't that he was gonna move he said he didn't want to go to something she invited him to yeah he said it in that way and i was like that's that's a really very diplomatic i just say i'm washing my hair there's a problem there's a problem (laughs) so he could have said you're a terrible person (laughs) yeah and i don't want to go with you yeah (laughs) okay that's a really good way to say it I wonder how long he thought about that. Like, was he thinking about how can I say no to her party? But, but, but isn't that a little bit dishonest? Wouldn't you ever like be told like? No, it's pro- I don't like that's actually the, no. But it's the truth. His conflict. He said he didn't. He his, said he didn't like her in a way. You know. Yeah, but he. She conflicts I with think, him. I think the whole purpose. It's you don't have to be rude when you're saying something. You can say nice thing. Like, Sorry, me and you just you know. Yeah, I want to hear this speech. Go I, on. I just don't like you in that way. And that's I, f- I feel I should have lunch by myself, and you have lunch by yourself. Yeah, <laughs> didn't ask. And I didn't ask him out on a date. <laughs> I don't want to be. I, I don't want to go out of you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I could do better. <laughs> <laughs> You're annoying as hell. <laughs> I can't stand the sight of you. Um. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I got the whole thing. What? No. What it was was there was group work, and she asked him to go in his group. That's what oh, it was. We meant to be in the groups together. There was like groups of four or five. And she was like, you can come with us. And he said, I don't want to be with you. Oh. You're, too ener- you're too energetic kind of thing. Has that ever happened to any of us? What? It's just like, I don't like you. Has that ever been said to Not anyone to here? Not my face. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. To like, your face? Yeah. No, but not like a girlfriend, I, boyfriend. Well, yeah. Not a well, girlfriend boyfriend. Why would I have just a like that 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 <laughs> well, I'm in the morning. That, like that setting. It's like a group, and then just like a group says, a person in a group goes, you're not part of this group anymore. Oh, like, that's what I'm seeing with the girls at school because I'm on my placement at the moment. And there was a couple girls crying and she was just like, she said she doesn't want to play with me and I can't have lunch with her. And they're like six, seven year olds. And it's like heartbreaking because they're like, <gasps> <laughs> you're way too soft, Em. <laughs> well, that's, it's like, oh. Kids it, are going to argue and I know, fight. but yep. they're just so mean. Kids to are each mean. other. Kids are mean. You Mainly w- the girls. You want to work in an industry when children <laughs> yeah. are young, so they're going to be mean. I you know. have to toughen up. <laughs> oh, like, we'll help them resolve them, but, but it's just like, oh, poor things. Like, why do they put themselves... Why do they do this at this Because they're age? children. Maxie, do you think the S word is a swear word? 
Which word? S word. S. Four Shit. letters. Oh, okay. Oh, well, there you go. Shit. Because over um, in Australia, yes. they don't consider it a swear word. They say it on radio. They say it everywhere. Yeah, it's everywhere. But I'm like, that's a swear word. Don't say that in front of the kids. Like, that's a swear word. But they don't consider For that me, a it swear goes, word. It here. goes a C word, the F word, then the S word. In that order. Are the, the main swear words. The C word. Is the worst. The worst. The C word See, is like the biggest it, one. The F like, word's the next biggest. And then yeah. the S word is the... Because I, I actually heard this on a radio show of an English guy who migrated from England to Australia. Mm. He goes... He, he met a couple of Australian guys and they called him a sick... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like... He was like, why are you calling me this for? <laughs> like, 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 that is... What did, the, I? what did I do to you? I, I, thought it would be, I thought it was being nice. It's like, no, it's a term of endearment. Yeah. Right? And he's like, really? What's the term of endearment? S, uh, like sick C. Oh. Yeah. Right? He goes, we say it as a... T- well, uh, he's... Yeah. Yeah, we say it as a term of demon. He's like, but where I'm from, it's really bad. Yeah. He goes, but he's been here for a few years now. He's used to it. We went back home. <laughs> Dig a punch in the face. And he's, he's let it slip out a couple of times. And people have just looked at him like, what? And th- another word they say here is the B word, just on air, oh, like on so radio. So what is the B word um I think the B your... word is higher than the S word. Really? I, I, I think. How is there a rating on these swear words? Uh, there is. There, there is a I rating. Think it, I think it's like, do you know when someone says it? Like, say if you're sat in your office, DJ, and then someone said a swear word, it's about how much you go, oh. Like, oh, yeah. gosh. I, I, I work near a security team. I don't even yeah. get phased. <laughs> oh, okay. But do you know what I mean? Okay, so if you're watching your prime minister talk, <laughs> and he said one of them, <laughs> I would be like, whoa. <laughs> so our prime ministers probably use the S word. Yeah. Why? He, he sworn a couple of times. He sworn a couple of times. He goes to the footy and he follows the sharks. He swore yeah. a couple of times. Because I, I, I think the. Oh, go on. I, I was, I was gonna say because like I told, I was telling a story. Remember, I was telling the story and I dropped the c word and you yes. and your reaction, it like Alexander so and for. Maxi, and you're all like, <gasps> and I was like, <laughs> I was even famous. I was like, oh, I was like, continue wrong group, st- wrong group. <laughs> continue, it was continue, so uncalled <laughs> for. I was just story. like, what? How could you drop that word right now? <laughs> I, I've heard a guy use it. You magnificent. Yeah. C word. Yeah. I, I use that word a lot when I was at university. Did you? I, I, yeah. It's just, I think it's more, I, I don't think it's m- as much as a country thing. I think it's more the type of people you have. Yeah. Just I mean, when you group. say someone from England doesn't like the word, it's not because they were from England, it's because of who they were with when yeah. they were in England. Mm. But my, um, I think the, the reason the B word is not bad for me is because my grandma like used to do like race dogs and stuff and she always referred to the yeah. female dogs as yeah. bitches like always so yeah. i was just like that's just what it is like that's i think that before i think of something else uh yeah, yeah. like well, we had race i dogs mean like well. i oh really yeah so i yeah like i get that but that's not how a lot of people say it. no it? that's not how they're using it no like i would rather be called i think I think I would. I feel like I'm offending someone more if I call them a dog than if I call them a bitch. Yeah, that's another one. Ooh. Dog. Just because to calling has, someone a dog that has is another meaning. A, a, dog, a dog is extremely <laughs> loyal and faithful. And faithful to you. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. Oh, yeah. It's always yeah. weird. It always will show you unconditional uh, love. That's, that's so you know, true. Like you lock a dog in uh, a cupboard for four hours, right? And you take him out of the cupboard. That dog will lick your face and want to be with you the whole time. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's a sad story. No, I'm but just saying how, how don't loyal. Don't do it, viewers. No, don't do that. But I'm just saying how loyal a dog is. Yeah. A dog will love you, you unconditionally. Just, that's so true, yeah. But also that phase, I think that's only for men. Like they're like, you dog. Like like they would <laughs> never say it to a woman. <laughs> how would they say it? You, you dog. No, how would they say it? No, or, they, Wait, men. They'd say like. Men wouldn't say it to a woman, did you say? Not a dog. They'd say the B word. No, to a woman. but the. I never call a man a dog. I've never ever thought about calling a man a dog. I think that's the worst. If you call a man a dog, it's like you're a dog. Like you just dogged really? me. Like you, you just dogged the boys. Like you've but gone I, against. Again, how does it make sense? It know. doesn't make sense. Loyal. So I've never, I've never heard of that. Hey, heard oh. That was a big thing. You're, dog. you're my dog. <laughs> well, that's right. It just depends how you say What's it. What's right? a dog? Yeah. You've said an A W D A W. Oh my dog. dog. My dog. dog. <laughs> He's my dog, man. <laughs> <laughs> just to reiterate, please do not yes. just start swearing at your uh, place of work <laughs> or worship. But anywhere else. <laughs> worship. <laughs> worship. Don't definitely don't do it there. Can I do the sermon, please? <laughs> Get the F out of here. <laughs> 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 oh my god.